Artificial sweeteners are sugar substitutes used to sweeten food and beverages. Artificial sweeteners and other low-calorie sweeteners like stevia are categorized as non-sugar sweeteners. Studies using stool samples have shown that consumption of non-sugar sweeteners affects gut microbiome composition. However, stool does not represent the entire human gut and its microbiome differs from the duodenal microbiome. In this study, MAST investigators add to the existing literature by analyzing both the small bowel microbiome and the stool microbiome to evaluate how non-sugar sweeteners affect gut microbiota. Subjects from the reimagined study provided duodenal luminal aspirates, fasting blood samples, and a subset also provided optional stool samples. Three subject groups were defined. Non-aspartame non-sugar sweetener consumers, aspartame only consumers, and controls. These were the main findings from the paper. Duodenal microbial alpha diversity was significantly lower in the NANCE group compared to the CON group. In the duodenal microbiome, the relative abundance of Escherichia, Klebsiella and Salmonella was lower in both NANCE and ASP than compared to CON. Conversely, in stool samples, the RA of Escherichia, Klebsiella, and Salmonella was higher in both Nance and ASP than compared to CON. Levels of the pro inflammatory cytokine IL 1 beta, which plays a crucial role in immune responses, decreased in Nance versus CON. In contrast, levels of cytokines IL 6 and IL 10 decreased in ASP versus CON suggesting that both pro- and anti-inflammatory responses play roles in mediating the effects of non-sugar sweeteners. Cylandrospermopsin is known for its harmful effects on the liver and nervous system. The cylandrospermopsin biosynthesis pathway was the only predicted duodenal microbial metabolic function that was significantly enriched in ASP versus CON. This finding is particularly interesting given recent concerns regarding aspartame and risks for hepatocellular cancer. Our findings suggest that non-sugar sweeteners affect the stool and small bowel microbiomes differently, and that there are differences between the effects of aspartame and the effects of other non-sugar sweeteners. With the potential health effects of non-sugar sweeteners recently being questioned, it's important to study the mechanisms underlying their effects and to explore ways to prevent adverse outcomes resulting from consumption of non-sugar sweeteners.